I don't usually do two videos in one day, but I feel the need to definitely say something right now. Uh, there are often times when people ask me, would you respond to this person? And they'll send me a link to a video where someone's saying something nasty about me and I'll watch it and I'll be like, well, you know, they've got 500 subs or they've got 2000 subs and they're just attacking me. And I'm like, that's fine. I'm not going to engage with them because I'm not going to punch down. I just don't think that's fair. That's being a bully. If you'll notice when I throw punches, I like to punch up and you take some lumps when you punch up, but it's worth it. Like when I go after the NRA, when I go after Iraq Veteran 8888. Well, today I want to punch up once more. And it's against someone I usually don't respond to. Uh, it's against James Yeager. Now, usually I don't argue with James Yeager. I like to make fun of him, but I don't really get into it too much with him because, you know, you don't go to the zoo and argue with the monkeys. Because who's really winning there? I mean, who's really got solid ground to stand on if you're screaming at, at something that's throwing its poop at you and, and you know, sticking its finger up its own butt and sniffing it. You know, you really don't have any moral high ground there. You're not going to make any progress. So I usually don't respond to James Yeager, but I want to say to him right now, you're full of shit, Yeager. You've moved from the realm of just being controversial to just being a tool. And I'm sorry. Sorry to see it happen, uh, but it has. You sell the NRA like it's something positive, like they've done something for us, and they haven't. You go to their organization today and you say, see, they solved the bump fire stock issue. No, they didn't. They didn't concoct some ingenious plan to solve the bump fire stock issue. They wanted the ATF to just ban them or regulate them. They wanted the ATF to have the power to circumvent Congress and just reinterpret the law and regulate them. They were very clear about that. Uh, ask Pete Brownell what he thinks about that position. He's not for it. He knows they didn't come up with some ingenious plan. He just doesn't have any power. He's just the president. That's just a figurehead in the NRA. What they did is they said what they said, and then we saved bump fire stocks. Because after they said what they said, even Republicans said, let's make bills banning bump fire stocks because the NRA is okay with it. And then we stood up and said, screw the NRA. Their membership has dropped nearly a million members recently, which is why they're so desperate and why they're pulling this whole, we all have to unite thing. Because they're desperate. And they found tools like you to sell their bullshit. They didn't save bump fire stocks. They sacrificed them. And then we took them back by being vocal and saying, we will even break with the NRA over things like this, so we will definitely vote against any representatives that vote for something like this. So you go ahead and you try to sell your garbage all you want, because that's all you're full of. And like I say, I usually don't address you, but I'm addressing you now. I guess this is where you'll threaten to kick my ass again at SHOT Show and then be like, mm -hmm, when you see me. So go ahead, I'm ready for it. I know you're 12 down deep. Uh, I won't engage in that kind of activity, but I will call you out on your garbage. And that's garbage. You are making a paycheck to sell a lie. And when you do that, you sell your integrity. And up until now, I always had a little bit of respect for you, even though you were controversial, even though you said things I didn't agree with. But now, you're nothing. You're just a paid mouthpiece with no soul and no credibility.